Greetings and salutations everyone, my name is Wiggy. Recently, the publishers of Granado Espada reached out, asking us to take a look at their game. So disclaimer, this is a sponsored video. However, considering the fact I played it not too long ago, I thought I would dive deeper into this game, as Granada Espada is relatively a complicated and unique MMORPG. I wanted to explore the later game content and how the higher characters play, especially considering the fact that they have new content coming out soon called, and forgive my pronunciation, Altria the Promised Land. Keep in mind guys, there's not a whole lot of MMORPGs this old still getting new content, so it is exciting to see. That being said, if you would like to see the full trailer of the new content coming out for Granada Espada, you can by following the link in the description. The same goes for if you would like to try out Granada Espada, you can find the link in the description as well. Now that that's all said and done, let us get into it. So I'm not gonna beat around the bush, and I'll tell you guys straight. If you're expecting some generic MMORPG, something to waste a little time into, this really isn't the MMORPG for you. And you should know that before going into this game, or you will be very disappointed when entering. Granada Espada is a truly unique MMORPG, and at times, making seemingly easy tasks difficult. But to be fair, this is Granada Espada's charm. Characters in Granada Espada are like classes, and you have access to three slots that you can fill with any of the characters you unlock. You start off with basic classes or characters, and there are 190 characters to choose from, so there's a lot of different combinations you get. Each character has their own stats, skills, stances, which can change their skills as well, equipment, and their very own ammunition types. Now this part I learned the hard way, as I ran out of the town with no bullets, and that was just awkward for me and the monster that was trying to kill me. Anyway, let's just skip over that, okay? It's not one of my high points. While entering combat, you will have to be aware of each character's role, and take into consideration the positions of your characters, or you will have ranged characters in melee range getting hit when it's not necessary. Ranged characters typically have low HP, and them being close range is not really what you want. Each character also has multiple skills that are all attached to an alphabetical short key. Each skill has a variety of effects, and they're not always as simple as this skill stuns or this skill bleeds. They are more complicated than that and are very worth reading if you want to be able to master this game. Skills are also telegraphed, which helps deciding the perfect positions to place your characters to maximize that skill's effectiveness. Your characters may also be moved individually or as a group. Group commands also exist and can be issued on the fly, like being able to attack at a specific location, so you can give your weary fingers a break from all the clicking you've had to do, and simply just make your characters attack at that location. It's handy! Keep in mind that all skills have a cost besides the normal consumption of mana, and running out of the specific item your character needs can be the difference between winning a fight and losing, so make sure you're prepared. Unlike Eve here, just standing there, he wasn't prepared. Not at all. He went into a duel without his mage being able to attack. Questing in Granada Espada is, yes, relatively similar to most MMORPGs in terms of acquiring them and what they generally entail, like fetch quests. However, unlike normal MMORPGs, you can get recruit quests. Once completing said quest, you gain a character card which can be used at the barracks to now create that said character. These characters can be changed and created at the barracks at any time, allowing you to mix up and create your formations or builds for the different types of situations you may encounter. Or you can just stick with your favorite ones, like I do. That also works. The PvP in this game is actually the most enjoyable thing I have done straight up. It's so entertaining. I dueled my boyfriend Eve, randomly thinking we'd be taken into an instance to duel each other. However, that was not the case. We ended up fighting each other in the open plains, getting attacked by mass hordes of monsters whilst fighting against each other only for the majority of us to be dead, but I came out the winner. That being said, we continued our bloodbath as we made it back to the town and entered a proper duel. This time, we decided to fight one-on-one, -on -one, with only one of our characters being able to participate in the battle at a time, which isn't typically what you would do in a normal battle, but it was quite fun. Now, the majority of Granada Espada's dungeons are not locked, and they are public. 
meaning you do not need to party with another person in order to be able to see them in the dungeon, which is really nice, and I haven't seen many MRPGs go this route before. The regions in Granada Espada are also relatively strange, not because of the aesthetics that is medieval European themed, but the fact that typical MRPGs have normal rates for monster spawns. Whereas Granada Espada's regions are full of monsters, this can make for some very epic battles as you fight against hordes of monsters that just want to kill you. So now that I have experienced and played Granada Espada from a low level's perspective and a much higher person's perspective, with the characters having access to all of their skills, I can definitely see the appeal to endgame content. Granada Espada is an interesting, unique, and very difficult MRPG. The complexity can be jarring at times, but it all pays off in the end. So if this game does look interesting to you, you can play it by following the link in the description. It is a fun MRPG, just keep in mind it's very difficult. That being said guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll be seeing you next time. <laughs> Could you get cool? I'm